welcome back to my let's play of Fallout 4 and the legend of Akira we'll continue from where we left off we're leaving Fort Hagen and then we're about to head back to Diamond City to talk to Piper Deep into that darkness peering, long I stood there, wondering. Fearing. The BOS is here. In force. Good thing I'm a part of that now. I wonder when I get a vertebrae. Something you need? Huh? Huh? You're that new girl, right? Yeah, I'm the new girl. Well, it's good to have you here. Name's Arturo Rodriguez. If you need protection, let's talk. Let's see what you have. Everything hand tooled. Hey. You need protection. Everyone. Let's see what you got. Everything. Hmm. What's the hunting rifle take? Uh -oh.
Hey, you see that big blimp? Change around my armor because leather is not helping anymore. What's the everything I got will keep you here? safe. Let's see what you have. Don't forget. Mm -hmm. Check in with a friend. How's the noodles game, Tack? Not so. Well, so long as you're staying out of trouble. Good. I won't tolerate anyone mistreating the only other robot in town I can stand. Self-prescribed Kim, as recommended by me, myself, and I. Read the public and be prepared. Let's go talk to Piper. Well, well, Nikki Valentine walks into my office for a change. What can I say, Piper? You, me, and hard luck all seem to run together like acid rain down an old sewer. You, uh, including your client here in that analogy? So, you two are finally letting me in on this little case of yours. What's the story? Where do you want me to start? The part where Kellogg turned out to be working for the Institute? Or the part where he told me they have Sean? The Institute. Oh boy. I've been investigating these creeps for over a year now. <laughs> the Commonwealth's boogeyman. Feared and hated by everyone. True enough. Sometimes they snatch people in the middle of the night. And sometimes they leave old synths behind to remind us that they're out there. But to this day... There's one thing nobody really knows. Where the Institute actually is. Or how to get in. Exactly. But there's one person who has to know, right? The guy who just handed them Sean. Kellogg. Huh. What about him? He had to have a way in and out. But... Well, we both know that angle is cut off. Any other ideas, Nick? Talk about a literal dead end, huh? So, a murderer and a kidnapper gets his brains blown out by an avenging parent. Huh. Be a great ending if we didn't still have the biggest mystery in the Commonwealth to solve. He wasn't going to talk, even if I had a way of bringing him alive. Gets his brains blown out. Huh. His brains. You know, we may not need the man at all. You're talking crazy here, Nick. Got a fault in the old subroutines? Look, there's a place in Good Neighbor called the Memory Den. Relive the past moments in your mind as clear as the day they happened. If anyone could get a dead brain to sing, It'll be Dr. Amari, the mind behind the memories. Huh. I hope you're right, Nick. Let's see. I guess we're gonna need a piece of Kellogg's brain. Enough gray matter to bring to Amari and find out if this is going to work. Jesus, Nick. Gross. Seriously? I know it's grisly, but what choice do we have? We got no leads. Nothing. That old Merc's brain just might have all the secrets we need to know. Actually, I think I already have something. Kellogg had this... this thing attached to his head. Cybernetics, huh? 
We may have just won the lottery. Whether we're riding this crazy brain train or not, we can't all go running across the Commonwealth, so... Who's coming with you? I have to go to the memory den either way, if I'm gonna introduce you to Omari. But if you want to head there together, just say so. I'll head out with Piper. We'll meet you there, Nick. Sounds good. You two stay out of trouble. Don't worry. We're gonna get your boy back. Just a few more steps. And by the way, at some point, you owe me an interview. I want to hear how this whole story got started. Hey. Where to? Nick. Time to hit the road? Just looking to trade a little. Yeah, sure thing. Heads up. Help yourself. Why should I give it up? And you gotta have some good stuff. Big, loud, full of corrupt officials and brown nosing citizens, but it's home. Let's go, Piper. It's a great gun, it's just that fire rate. You gotta crank it up in order to get multiple damage, get better damage output. I wonder how much a three crank does.
normal for us. For the sniper bullets, huh? Nope, oh, wasn't even sniper bullets. Damn it. Free your mind. Hold up there. First time in good neighbor? You can't go walking around without insurance. You better back off, or you're the one who's gonna need insurance. What was that? I, I couldn't hear over the sound of all that pathetic. You hand over everything you got in their pockets, or accidents start happening to you. Big, bloody accidents. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Time out. Someone steps through the gate the first time, they're a guest. You lay off that extortion crap. Good to see you again, Nick. And Cock. What do you care? She ain't one of us. No love for your mayor, Finn. I said let her go. You soft, Hancock. You keep letting outsiders walk all over us. One day, there'll be a new mayor. Come on, man. This is me we're talking about. Let me tell you something. <laughs> now, why'd you have to go and say that, huh? Breaking my heart over here. You all right, sister? I imagine her, imagine him saying "Tada!" like the Joker after that. <laughs> I'm fine. Thanks for taking care of him. Good. Now don't let this incident taint your view of our little community. Good neighbors of the people for the people. You feel me? Everyone's welcome. Yeah, I feel you. Good. You stay cool, and you'll be part of the neighborhood. So long as you remember who's in charge. Hey there, a new player and good neighbor. Hello, little pawn. Welcome to our fun and games. 
Well, hello. Everything here is guaranteed to injure, maim, or kill at your discretion. Except me. I only kill when I want to. Sure. Let's take a look. Purchase a variety in case of boredom. I need something better than these guns. Jesus. Wow, fusion coil worth a lot. Hmm. Party starter. I need more money. Heads up. What you got for me? Sure, take a peek. Cleo. Don't worry. I only test the weapons on customers I don't like. Feel free to browse. Let's see what you got. Let's get you outfitted, killer. Cleo's a savage. Sorry for the noise in the background. I don't know why they just picked the vacuum now.
one could figure out a good use for it. Brotherhood of Steel better stay out of good neighbor. All I'm saying. Alright, before we go in here, that's the end of this episode. Hope you stay tuned for next time and remember, keep soaring. I've been Ace. Bye bye.